Hello again Struck Club, welcome back to another evening, for me at least, uh, of uh, streaming Torchlight 3. I will be starting a new uh, Realm Master Electrode to tonight, so let's have some fun with, with, um, with that hero. I'm just quickly checking here. Okay. I think we're good to go, I think everything's uh, working fine. Let's go inside the game. The voice should be loud enough. Um, I hope. And Pudding Lime has been here early. <laughs> Welcome back Pudding Lime, nice to see you again. So there we go, a new hero. That's the only Electrode hero I still don't have on this uh, server, on this account. I have one on the test server which obviously I can't access right now. Uh, so yeah, the only Electrode quest that's missing on the live server for me. Let's give him purple hair, cause it's gonna be an Electrode. Um, let's give him some weird hair. This one. What's, uh, what's electrode -y? Something messy. This is very messy. It's as if he touched the... If he touched the con... Um. As if he t uh, stuck his fingers in the... In the... Electrical socket. I wish I had one such uh, hairstyle. Like super spiky. Because this is like mini dreads, uh, it, it's not the same. If, if there's something super spiky, uh, would have been perfect. <laughs> and more bright, uh, more bright purple uh, <laughs> colored uh, hair would have been amazing for Electrode. All right, let's just uh, take whatever pet. I'm gonna go on normal because I just wanna um, do it quickly. Yeah, this is gonna be a very fun hero to level up. Obviously, Electrode is powerful, we know that, it's been... It's it's not a secret that Electrode is powerful. Uh, and with the Realm Master, whether it's Train or, or whether you go Slammer, with Electrode you can have some very nice builds. I have no idea whether I'm gonna level it as a Train build or as a Slammer. I'm probably gonna level it as a Train build, but uh, with Chaotic Strikes. Probably, we'll see. Chaotic Strikes is uh, what uh, what I normally use um, when leveling up. I, I've not done a Conjure Electrode Trail Master build yet. Uh, maybe it's time uh, to try one uh, Conjure Electrode build. We'll see. Something with, uh, with Casting Speed. Uh, I will test if Casting Speed uh, makes my uh, Flamethrower car attack quicker. If it does then yes we will we will have some fun with it if it doesn't if it still attacks um equally slow actually equally fast it actually attacks pretty fast but if if, if the attack speed uh, of flamethrower car does not get affected by casting speed and then uh, i'm not gonna go conjure electrode Um, I'm gonna grab this first. Oh, General Grey, yeah, I forget. I need to talk to her. Thanks for your help, Kurt. We couldn't have defeated Yaro without you. Why is it so quiet? I could barely hear her say anything. What happened? Did I get the book where my game is quiet again? I'm not sure what's happening with my machine. Sometimes the games are quiet, sometimes they're super loud. <laughs> uh, I need to put a pet skill as well. Um, this one. Let's see. Mm, 
my pet is actually having a pet bat <laughs> over there. Well, you probably can't see me pointing over there. This guy? This guy? He's not responding. <laughs> Sky.exe is not responding. <laughs> 404, cat not found. Let's see. <laughs> but yeah, today I uploaded the I uploaded the this match um, showcase, this match skill showcase, which should help new players or people who are wondering if if they would like the disc match skills. I'm gonna be making one for the Realm Master tomorrow. So tomorrow my stream will be kind of late again, uh, kind of like uh, tonight, uh, due to this, due to making that uh, updated 2021 edition showcase of the Realm Master skills. How many more? Um, two more. Graves, okay. You have gained a level. We are getting walk away storm first. Still haven't decided if I want to level up with Walk Away Storm or uh, with um, Chaotic Strikes. I guess it depends on the gear I get, maybe. Oh, and I can put something in the. Can put something in here. There's one way to cheese the game. Uh, one way to cheese it right now is to take advantage of this. And then to do this. <laughs> uh, but that's a bit too cheesy, maybe. <laughs> that might be too cheesy. Um, but that's one way to cheese it and to level up that way. <laughs> In fact, I could even do this. Wait, it's kind of glitched. Okay, now it should be fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of cheesing it. We shouldn't be able to do this. We shouldn't be able to do this, but we can. <laughs> so if you want to level up quickly, you might want to do the same thing. Just put something that gives you extra skill points and unlock your level, whatever level, 20, 15, 10 skills you want to wear, you want to equip. Okay, let's go. There's two more that I haven't um, clicked on. Two more. One is there, okay. Where is the other one? Oh, there we go. I hope they fix this soon, so we, we can't abuse the system. Hopefully uh, someone ends up watching this uh, from the dev team and, and says, hey, they shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Let's fix this bug. Um, 
I, I reported it long ago, like uh, I sent a screenshot of how at level 304 I have uh, a ton of skills on my skill bar that I shouldn't be able to to swat. And that works on any class, not just Realm Master. You can do the same thing on any class as long as you swat your class set that gives you plus one to, to certain skills. You can get um, those skills uh, at level one and just equip them. I can get this for example now if I want to as well. Right, let's go talk to the general. May the fallen soldiers rest in peace. We're all grateful for your help, recruit, but we must resume our mission. I need you to gather medicine while we're short handed. Um, I'm gonna keep this wife bound scroll, sell this, maybe maybe sell some other things. I'm gonna equip this, 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 and this. Actually, this one is better. The twenty-one fire defense. Potions for you, potions for your little friend. Oh, is is that all? At level five, I will probably go to my storage. Take some some items. I think I've got a low level doom pipe. No, actually. Maybe I do, maybe I do, but I think it's six seven. Still, I should be able to wear it at level five if it's six or seven. And uh, I will probably open some gear bundles every now and then, every five levels. Hmm. That was not the real or your pet is running away, I assume. Since the pet is still here. Oh yeah, the mushrooms. Almost forgot about them. Actually, <laughs> actually did forget about them, but almost entirely forgot about them. What level am I? Almost four. And here comes the worst level up between four and five. The 2000 XP level. Battering run, not bad. What levels did I get new pet skills? 5, 10, 15, okay. I'm gonna save this point uh, for 
tier one um, tier one hammer spin. Kill some enemies for XP. Normally I would just rush to the to the next place. Let's get that unique. Was that Sir Alec or no no Sir Alex in a different place? This one is Overseer Hate Wash. Okay. some more enemies okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go to to travel point after I reach my next checkpoint which will travel passage and then I can take the next quest remembered my water is not here I need to go, go and grab it for when I'm about to hydrate just a moment okay I'm here uh, I had to grab my water I just uh, realized that my water was um, far away out of reach and when I need to drink uh, I'd rather do it now instead of uh, later on okay let's grab the waypoint and talk to the general oh and since I'm here might as well check my check my storage for wall level items it's a bit too early to do it but oh oh now we're talking now we're talking wall level cosmic items yeah, perfect any more wall level cosmic items Eleven. Uh, oh, seven. Nice. I'm gonna grab the eleven because I don't see one. Oh, and another eleven. Damn, there's a lot of wall level cosmic items I've been saving. Um, rapid bartering nineteen. Don't mind if I take this as well. Level twelve storm blade. Ah, uh, nah. Level 13 battery ram. Am 
Might as well do it now at once instead of uh, coming back later. Maybe using the doom pipe for now would be better. Okay, um, this one is it's um, this one's turn. 60, 60, those are high level. I thought there's gonna be any low level stuff here, but uh, I have to check. 14, shotgun or shield. Um, I mean, maybe if I need defense, uh, I'd rather have it at hand. Oh, 16 cosmic pants. I've been saving a lot of low level uh, uh, Realm Master stuff, I guess, and a Doom Pipe at 25. Level 5 Woods Beast Countlets. Not as good as the one I'm using, so I'm not gonna take it. Might as well even get rid of it, but later, not now. Okay, I think that's it for the wall level stuff. Oh, level 11 bartering. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And keep that one. And I think that's all of them. Uh, I've checked everything I could. For wood. Off to travel point now. Oh, and someone followed me while I was offline six hours ago. Seraphine. Seraphine, if you end up watching this, thanks for the follow. Seraphine, welcome to the Struck Club. And Wizit says, hey Struck, um, will it be a train build or slammer uh, one? Uh, it will be both of them. Uh, first, I'm, I'm probably going to make a train build first. Because I want to remake my uh, my electrode train build. And then I'm going to remake my, um, my uh, slammer build. Um... But the thing, the thing I'm gonna make first will be a train setup. So I'm gonna be building this as a train setup first. But as I mentioned, eventually I will make three, four builds with this class, uh, not one after the other. I'm gonna make one build, and then the other one probably would have to wait a week or so because I've got other things um, on the to-do list. Um, We'll see. I mean, if I if I think I can squeeze in two builds back to back, it's not gonna be bad. But I definitely want to make uh, one train build, eventually one uh, slammer, and then after that, uh, um, we'll see what comes next. First things first, I want to figure out if flamethrower car benefits from casting speed bonuses. This is the the main thing I want to test. If if the attack speed of the of the cars gets affected by casting speed, if it does, then I'm gonna go and make another conjure electrode build. I'm kind of um, on, on on a streak, on a wave of making conjure electrode stuff uh, builds. So for now, we'll see how that goes. You're struggling to beat Brow on ridiculous level 15. With what build? With what build and what level you are and what level is your gear? In particular the weapon and what defenses you've got. Also, also which which thing gets you? Is it the, 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 the bunch of projectiles across the whole screen? Uh, or is it the illusions? Is it the netherwell? What, what gets you? What's the thing that's giving you a hard time? Because for me, it's always those stupid projectiles one-shotting me um, in between. Um, even though I can, even though I'm avoiding them, they're still like a second, second place where the projectile hits, not just the main one. It takes you like 30 minutes to get halfway. Um, you can grind levels, yes, 
You can do map works. Um, you, you can collect contract rewards and use map works portals. Uh, I'm gonna try and show you. So if you farm, if you farm champions, uh, you can get those uh, maps from contracts. Um, those maps here. Uh, this thing and then you can open those maps and run those maps and uh, those maps always create a, a dungeon at, at your level uh, So by beating champions you can get fame and uh, and you can also keep uh, repeat uh, farming certain zones So let's say you you want to farm levels before brow Maybe save your maps and just keep farming like gobdunk or guarded path or, or maybe uh, hidden foes switching grounds whatever Keep in mind you cannot get XP if the enemies are more than 4 levels under you. Um, so there's that to consider. And if, you, if you're going to, to fight Brawl, even with, uh, with higher levels, your level will, will get scaled down um, to uh, I think one level above her or something like that. So if you're in like a level 15 zone, you're gonna be level 16, something like that. But you can still get uh, XP for up to another few levels after that. So yeah, if, if you're having a problem, just level up a bit, get a little bit better gear. Uh, maybe gamble for weapons, uh, get some get some wife bound scrolls. Um, the defense is very important, physical defense. On brow, physical defense is key. Um, don't you, you shouldn't care much about fire um, because she doesn't do fire maybe the enemies that she spawns could do fire but she doesn't and what class are you using I, I can tell you some skills that you might uh, want to take class and subclass um, and you're welcome uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of things I can I can tell you um, as hints if I know what class and subclass you're running. With respect, because you might want to put one point uh, fr from one skill into another skill and so on. And you can equip weapons up to three levels higher than your own level. And that weapon would get scaled down that weapon would get scaled down uh, to one level higher than the map. So in that map it's 5-6. So if I have a level 10 weapon and I'm level, uh, and I'm level 7, let's say, like, let's say I'm level 8 and I have a level uh, 11 weapon and I'm wearing it. That weapon would get scaled down to level 7 and so would all of my gear get scaled down to level 7. But the skills and the skill points I get from having extra levels would be still there. So grinding levels, uh, if you can't beat the boss, definitely would help. Uh, even even if your gear gets scaled down to to the level of the zone plus one, you still get um, the benefit of having more skill points uh, in your build and. Um, and that's important, that's actually uh, one or two extra skill points uh, here and there uh, in the wall levels makes a big difference. The same goes for some better items, um, makes a big difference while leveling up, especially if you're planning on ridiculous, if, if you're just gonna level ridiculous, um, gear is uh, very important there, keeping the gear up to speed. Discmage Electrode, yeah, with Discmage Electrode uh, at level 15. Uh, hmm, let me check quickly something. Let's check Discmage Electrode. Uh, I, I want to consider what uh, what's um, at level 15. So let's say... Uh, Discmage Electrode. At level 15, I'm not sure what you went for, but you should have at least one point here. Ideally, three points here. And uh, if you're using Holy Boat, that's not bad. Um, consecration is not bad. At level 15, you have access to, to those things and to those things. You don't have access to this and this. So most likely, you probably have some points here. 
I think it's very crucial to have harmonic form duration and harmonic form duration as early as possible in the game. You have lightning strike and at level 15 you can actually max out lightning strike. But maxing out lightning strike is only good if you have chance to shock. And this can give you chance to shock but only 10% so if you don't have chance to shock on your weapon and you don't have this then don't put points into lightning strike. What can help you on brow uh, is localized storm because you can keep your distance and still do damage. Whereas with chaotic strikes you need to get a little bit closer. It, it's also good so I would say maybe going for level 6 localized storm. See this is 23 points this thing here. And this probably won't be something you can achieve. Because you get uh, uh, 15 levels, so 15 points, with one extra point uh, from level 5, from 10, and from 15. So you should have around 18 points. So let's say you maybe don't get this, and that's 17 points. And you can have 18, and then maybe uh, get one more level, more level to get that tier, um, tier 1. So something like this. 3 points here, 6 points here, 6 points here for the harmonic form duration and for damage every now and then. 1 point here, 3 points here. This this could work. This could work. If you're using different skills, like if you're using this uh, instead of that, then obviously you might want to uh, maybe get that one. And then maybe get 1 point here. Um, or maybe even one point into consecration. I mean, there's there's many ways to do things, but I would say try to get level six Walkaway Storm or level six Chaotic Strikes. Um, um, I mean, level ten Chaotic Strikes is gonna be hard to get at this level for you. So, so yeah, maybe don't try to get it. But at least level six from one of those skills should should provide you with um, decent DPS. Hopefully this is helpful information. Alright, let's get the waypoint and go to the chasm. And if you have some celestial items that give you extra levels, keep in mind um, this allows you to right now equip skills that you haven't unlocked. The same way I have one extra level to every conductor skill, meaning I can equip flamethrower, car, ghost train, all of those skills, even though I haven't leveled those up. So if you have uh, the, the, the helmet or the chest of the celestial set, you can still equip absolver or entropy, depending um, plus one to what skills you've got. Uh, so that's something to consider. Celestial gauntlets should be your priority though, in regards to legendary items, if you want to be gambling for gear, I would suggest spend your gear or on gauntlets. Celestial gauntlets is one of the best DPS boosts for a Dusk Mage, and getting this early in the game uh, is is amazing. Uh, sometimes I would um, I would have cases where I'm keeping like low level, like level 5, 6, maybe level 10 gauntlets, all the way to level 60, because they wouldn't drop me a, a higher level version of those gauntlets. Uh, and, uh, and I just want to have that effect. Obviously there's the Legendarium, uh, but uh, if you want to put them in the Legendarium, you still need to put three other pieces of, um, of the Celestial set. So priority number one probably would be gambling for blue one-handed weapons, so you can use a shield. And priority number two, uh, when you have a decent weapon for your level, um, if you're wondering what to spend the gold on, gauntlets on a disc mage. Super important. Okay, let's see.
trying to level up before the boss fight but probably I won't be able to but for the next one Okay. But for this match it's very important to have one one dark skill and dark buff bar builder skill and one light buff bar builder skill as early as possible. And um, holy bolt combined with dark spears is very good as a, as an early early combo to help you build um, the buff bars. Slow, chance to slow HP. What's here? Moving on towards uh, Wide World. All right. Any more here? Just a bit. Come on, please spawn some more. We need more. We need density of monsters. reach those there oh there's a shrine what type defense I want to get level 5 before wide world, I want to get my movement skill. There should be some enemies here.
on, come on. Die, give me XP. I can now level up um, this to level 3. And I've got my mobility skill finally. get wide world now oh and I've got a new pet skill as well I'm thinking I'm thinking of healing first let's see now should I rush to wide world or just get some kills on the way for XP to get maybe level 6 Okay. By the way, is th is it just me or is this broken? Oh no, it it works, it works. I just need more cooldown. level 40 percent since I no longer need to prioritize lantern flash tier 2 um, I'm gonna be leveling different uh, differently than I used to before because I no longer need to get this. In fact, I'm gonna skip this 10% damage. So from here on, uh, should I focus on Blasting Charge Tier 1? Or should I uh, focus more on the Electrode side of things? Maybe focusing on the Electrode side of things won't be bad for the leveling up. Trying to kill as many as I can before I reach wide world some level six. Not sure I can be level six, but still close enough. Eventually I will need to do a map or exp map um at some point
Right, we got this. Oh, and that reminds me, I had the slammer skills. I could have uh, spent one less point on on hammer spin. Well, already spent the point, so not gonna unspec it. Regular defense, I'd rather get the regular defense for now. Still no, um, still no scrolls. I need to do a beast portal. If I find one, I'm gonna enter to get some scrolls uh, for wife bound. Let's go to the next zone. I'm gonna go to Travel from the from the passage. Let's drink. Okay. Now taking a while come on I know you want to vote did I unlock some legendary gear I can equip not yet soon soon Taking a while. Potions for you, potions for your little friend. See you next time. Since I'm level five, I can go and gamble for. If you have money, I got what was gear. it for? Helmet. Twenty-six. Doesn't want to give me a blue one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you'll be back. Here for coin. Here for coin. What else can I upgrade? For now, I'm gonna stay with whatever I'm using. And level 6. Now I'm gonna start investing into this. At level 7 I should have tier 1. At level 10 tier 2. And I want at level 20 to have max level flamethrower car. So I have to save 10, 9 or 8 points depending uh, depending if I have the plus 1 or plus 2 from my gear at, at, the, at, that, at that point. I could save respectacles and use respectacles to get it but yeah, normally I want to get that as quick as possible. 
thankfully with uh, with respectacles being in the shop people don't need to save points the way i do it they can just um, buy respectacles and, and just use those and put the points somewhere while leveling so they can get uh, so they can be stronger um, until it's time for, for respecting, so they can have some skill being stronger or something else. But I'm probably not gonna put the points, because I, I wanna save those respectacles for later, for when I'm reworking builds. So after level 10, I'm probably gonna stop spending points. At that point, I would have Walk Away Storm um, Tier 2. And that's good enough for me. Kate wash again? Where did he go? This one's barely taking damage because my weapon is pretty shitty. Hmm. Should I get this one or keep using the one uh, on me? This 30% weapon damage. Let's let's see how it goes. It procs a lot, and while leveling, it's actually a pretty good item. So I'm thinking of using the imbue relic, uh, ancient timber boots, as soon as I can equip a helmet here, this helmet. So level 11, that means I need level 8. So two more levels, one and a half levels, and then I can equip this helmet, I can remove it from my legendarium, and I can put the, the imbue relic skill in the setup, so I can keep walk away storm up more often. Did my train got glitched? Yeah. There's some elites, nice. Give me that XP, give me that XP. Okay. 
And... Oh, how did this survive? some stuff in the inventory oh and this shield I didn't need this Firewall, nice. I'm using uh, the Doom Pipe though. Almost level 7. Okay, here we go. now my tank is getting glitched this is why I never like trains um, in this game they're just so buggy so wonky as a mechanic it's so inconvenient to, to play a train build but train builds are so strong on the other side um, on the other hand so <laughs> it, it's tough it's tough knowing that it's a strong build yet you know they're just so buggy and so slow and And constantly get uh, get stuck sometimes. Sometimes they just disappear. And having to babysit them with uh, with uh, the the build train skill definitely not a fun mechanic. Okay. 
almost ready for Skittles. Should I get some energy before the fight? Let's get some energy before the fight. It's not much, but it's still gonna help uh, for a initial burst. Take this. More defense, thanks. Okay, did I unlock anything? Still not. Well, with the next level I should be unlocking some items uh, to wear from the ones I took from my storage. <laughs> so, next is excavated workshop. Alright, I'm just gonna rush that way. mistaken this is the one with the with the machine with the automaton yeah <laughs> beast let's do it don't don't run away don't run away kill it kill it kill it, kill it. oh it's my train glitched when I need it thankfully I managed to get it I need some scrolls, I need to build a um, stable amount of scrolls. I should have transferred some scrolls in the shared storage so I don't have to do this while leveling to farm scrolls. But yeah, I like having scrolls while leveling so I can use them every 3-4 levels or whatever when I change my weapons. For new players it's, it's good to go into those levels. Um, to get scrolls. Once you have 10 15 scrolls, you probably wouldn't need to go into those uh, uh, soon. Let's put one more point here. Your pet is your pet. And Pierce Levatan says, Struck, welcome back. Welcome back to you, Pierce, as well. Uh, nice to see you again. How has it been, Pierce? Is my pet back? Oh, it's back. Nice. Alright, I'll pack uh, take some gear off of my hands.
this anymore. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, skills. Imbue relic. Frost wall, wall level frost wall would be perfect to get. mission your relic is ready just on time Him Relic. It's a guarantee for me while having him be Relic that um, when I reach a boss fight I would have my aura ready. Moving on. I'm not gonna go to Trivial Point until I reach the next checkpoint. The next waypoint, there we go, that's good enough. Let's kill those first though. Travel, travel. <laughs> it should start. Okay, there we go. Recruit, good job on rescuing our officers. It appears that Jack and Yapper's quest. It's time for a Yap attack. Your pet is taking damage. Yes, I'm gonna try and gamble for some see. shoulders. And not so bad, Relic Energy Cost is actually very good for me this early in the game. What else have I got? Uh, pants. Give me some new pants. <laughs> not a fan of the bonuses, but this one is with crit chance, I'm gonna keep it. And maybe new boots, new boots, maybe Walkway Storm uh, Duration boots. Even if it's green, if it gives me duration to walk a white storm, I will keep it. Okay, let's try gauntlets with walk a white storm um, duration. I 
I guess no work. Maybe try again. I got money. <laughs> I got the gold to burn through. <laughs> Uh, duration for pound. Wait, pound has duration? Wait, on what? On the stun? Is that it? For the stun? Oh, for the buff maybe, for the endurance bonus. So it doesn't specify what? Is it the stun duration? Is it the endurance bonus? <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of unknown. So much basic attack stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try a bit more and then give up. It just doesn't want to drop. Maybe, maybe it won't drop until uh, until I reach a certain level. I think the same goes for boots. It won't drop with uh, duration to to walk a white storm until maybe a certain level. It's very RNG though, so who knows? Okay, let's um, let's move. Come on, vault. There we go. We'll rush ahead. Sephirator is back. Welcome back, Sephirator. Um, how's it going with your Realm Master Electrode? Um, did you start leveling it up already? And if yes, how far are you in the level of progress? If you're near, near my progress, I wouldn't mind joining you on whatever difficulty you play. So we can level those together for a, for a little while. That is not the way. You haven't started yet, okay. You actually have an electrode match that you haven't finished yet. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Level 30 is disc mage. Well, if you see me leveling a hero and we are equal levels to any hero that... And that goes to anyone. Anyone, if you see me leveling a hero and you have a hero around the same level and you wouldn't mind leveling up together, uh, I'm always happy to, to co-op um, as long as we are on the same platform, as long as we are on Steam. I don't mind going to any difficulty, whether it's ridiculous or practice. Um, to me, it doesn't matter. Wait, what's in this dungeon? 
basic stuff. Uh, uh, when you start the Realm Master, keep in mind if you get... Um, if, if you have some low level... Um, Low-level cosmic uh, shawl, not short, uh, helmet and chest. Low-level cosmic helmet and chest, or even if you have those on Walked for the Legendarium, you can you can get very early in the game some very strong skills like flamethrower car. I got my flamethrower car at level three uh, because I swatted in my Legendarium um, this thing, the the helmet. And then until level eight, when I could equip this helmet. Um, I was using um, that in the Legendarium and um, it still gave me a um, flamethrower car, like uh, just right now. This is a bug, so don't don't get too attached to it. Uh, it will get fixed eventually. Um, they've known about this for a while. I think I reported it like uh, two and a half, three months ago. Um, with a screenshot uh, on Discord. Um, to show how many skills I had on my Realm Master back then. It was long ago, it was when I was leveling my, my Bud Drinker Realm Master that I, that I saw this, so it's been a while. Do you consider yourself a pro or just a pioneer of the to <laughs> Neither! I'm, I'm not a pioneer and, and I'm not a pro in, in regards to like a good, per a good, uh, good player. Pro in regards to earning money through content, sure. Um, in in that in that regard, uh, yes, in in this in this meaning of the word. But I'm definitely not the best at um, at using my builds. Maybe I can make some good builds and stuff like that. Um, but there's definitely gonna be people who use my builds better than I do. Who are better at um, at uh, doing the rotations the way they're supposed to be done. Or better at um, at dodging stuff. Wait, did I get the? Okay, I got it. Just wanted to make sure I got the waypoint. And this game is not crossplay. If you're on Xbox, uh, we we cannot play f together for sure. Um, for now, there is no crossplay. They didn't say it's out of the question completely, but for now, I guess they can't afford to to think about crossplay when there's more important things to focus their attention on. And it's also gonna require money, I guess, to, to, to do crossplay. Maybe crossplay with Xbox would be amazing and easier to do. Especially now that the game is on Xbox Game Pass. Um, it would be nice to, motiv to motivate people to play with their, their Steam friends um, on the Xbox. But the game first needs matchmaking. Before they can make crossplay, they need to make some sort of matchmaking that brings those people together. I think Yabu 3 has a pretty decent matchmaking system. Select what you want to do, whether it's uh, end game like rifts, whether it's bounties, whether it's uh, um, story, etc. And then try and find someone around. Uh, around your level whatever to around your quest if you're doing story to to keep um, leveling with chaos Bane has similar type of matchmaking pretty nice Okay. 
here, moving here. I'm thinking of getting some spirit bros. Um, it won't be a bad thing, and maybe. Okay, let's put this point here, and maybe I can put this one like this. Spirit bros are very good for electrode builds because they can keep proking stuff even if even if they don't do as much damage as you might want them to although I think they do pretty decent damage when you stack a ton of them uh, they can proc things like lightning strike and I'm probably gonna keep them for the build for the final version of the build most likely we'll see even if I don't use the, the stinging wing sword uh, if I don't have room for it in the setup I will try and um, keep the spirit bros on one of the skills now that I don't need Lantern Flash 6 points, um, those 6 points can go into Spirit Bros. Uh, Severi says I have a Flaming Destroyer Realm Matcher, actually that's level 11, that's pretty nice. How far in the quest is your level 11? But again, we can't play together because uh, no crossplay. <laughs> But yeah, this this looks fun, and with Spirit Bros, it could be uh, pretty interesting what I can make uh, of an electrode setup. Um, uh, for it, the deciding factor would be whether I get bonuses from casting speed on on my cars or not. If I get bonuses from casting speed on my cars, I will use a thousand volt burst. If I don't then I will use Spirit Bros. Actually, I can still use Spirit Bros. I'm not gonna use Ghost Train, it's not part of the build. So I can uh, have this and I can have 1000 Volt Burst and Team Bure Relic and Walk of Ice Storm with two train cars and build train and um, Blasting Charge. No third train car though, I'm wondering if it would be better to just use the the, um, the electric car, uh, whatever it was called, shocking rounds, instead of the spirit bros. Maybe, maybe it might be the better option. Let's do this, this, this. Hmm. Okay. I'd rather keep the relic energy cost. Your pet is fleeing. Huh? What? How? When? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess uh, something happened to the pet. Uh, it 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 decided to to get wrecked uh, from an invisible foe. Was there a trap maybe on the ground that I didn't see that kept attacking the pet? <laughs> this was the weirdest. <laughs> Your pet is fleeing for reals. Um, for a moment I thought it was the bug telling me your pet is fleeing, but it actually was fleeing. Severator says his piece is kind of old, so not sure if you can... Yeah, I mean, if you can't run the game on the PC, and if you already have it on the Xbox, obviously makes sense to play it on the Xbox. I mean, new, the new gen consoles for the price 
um, they cost uh, offer very good stuff okay so the next point says I said I'm gonna save for flamethrower car so let's say uh, 11 12 13 14 15 15 16 17 so that would give me eight points including the plus two bonus level so let's say 18 so I can get nine points to keep that one bonus level uh, since I don't think I have another oh actually I do I do have another cosmic uh, set item so I can spend uh, level 12 and 13 and 11 on other skills so I'm gonna keep pumping local ice storm But after level 13 I should stop spending points and save them for um, for flamethrower car level 10, uh, level 8 plus 2 I mean. What's happening with Sam? Still sleeping. He's been chilling today. And for unknown reason, it's been becoming kind of um, cold today here. The past few days, um, the heat wave we had around our country is gone, and we're back to actual winter weather, <laughs> not autumn weather. So Sky has been snuggling and sleeping um, in the warm uh, on the warm bed. Oh, nice! Can I get this quest completed before I finish them up? Two more drops. No, four more drops. If it's good, um, I can keep it, but see the damage is good, but I really need the relic energy cost more, I think, at this point. I've gone this far might as well complete the map all the way to the end There we go. Quest done. Ah, nice XP. Okay, let's uh, wood the chest. Wait, invisible? Where is the portal? Oh, there we go, it's here.
Okay, time to check my inventory, see what I can remove. Not big, not big difference. So too early to replace this weapon for now. some gear with duration to walk a white storm it's gonna make the leveling so much more pleasant if i can keep it uh, up at all time oh, okay there we go my train Uh, Berserker uh, 81 says what uh, skills uh, I'm using uh, do you mean uh, in my skill tree what levels I've put uh, in, in each thing um, I'm gonna show you just a moment keep in mind before before you look at my skill keep in mind I've got plus one to every conductor and plus one to every slammer which allows me to use skills like flamethrower car without unlocking it or ghost train so i've got one point into build train i've got seven now eight points into walk away storm one point into blasting charge and three points into hammer spin <laughs> the rest the rest are just level one from my uh from my uh items In fact, the three points over here, I can remove one point and still have my my bonus, uh, my tier one bonus. You can do the same thing I've done without having. Um, without having those two items you can put them in the legendarium if it's your out and you've already leveled another hero and you've gotten those um uh, it's not bad uh you can put them in the legendarium in the legendarium i'm using kenshin timber boots which is uh, this skill which is uh, pretty amazing especially early in the game it's it's a huge um, it's a game changer getting this skill early in the game to, to help you keep your energy up uh, if i if i get a um, frost wall it's gonna be even better i can shave off 15 seconds or even 30 seconds of the cooldown see now with timbu relic i start immediately with full energy this fight although i messed up because i didn't have my train ready that is still fine. And you don't have to do like me to level up. Uh, leveling up with uh, Walkaway Storm is just as good as leveling up with Chaotic Strikes. Chaotic Strikes keep you closer to the combat and you have to be more active with it. 
Uh, and with imbue relic, you can have a lot of burst potential. But uh, walk away storm, storm is pretty decent as well. So I guess it's just up to... It's up to personal preference, I guess. I decided to level up with, uh, with walk away storm. Because I'm thinking of making the build walk away storm build. Unless, unless the train attacks quicker with casting speed. See, if, if it attacks quicker with casting speed, I'm gonna make it a conjure electrode build. Uh, a casting speed stacking conjure electrode 1000 volt burst build. So I just, uh, I'm gonna wait until I unlock uh, conjure electrode and test it to confirm. Watcher's ticket. I've not been to the Watcher's ticket. Let's see where it is. Oh no, actually I have been. I I, I was just there. So lakeside clearing it is, and then travel point from there. But the yeah, electrode is a good relic. Uh, one of the top relics. Uh, it can make any class pretty pretty decent as a subclass. I do recommend it to people, um, to, to, to new players. Um, Electrode is one of the relics I would say is a recommended relic to try. Uh, I, I don't recommend it only to people with, uh, whoa, uh, with, with old generation consoles that can't handle the FPS drops from the electrode and with older machines as a PC that cannot handle the FPS drops uh, again. Um, that's the only the only problem with uh, with electrode. It kind of um, it's it's not uh, ideal for uh, old generation consoles and for Switch, and it's not ideal for for people with older PC specs. I can try and demonstrate what I'm talking about uh, with. Uh, Let's start MSI after burner. What was my hotkey? Control Alt O, Control Alt P. One of the two. There we go. So right now I'm capping my FPS at 60, but you're gonna see how it starts dropping when there's some things happening electrode related. But keep in mind I'm with a 6 year old GPU. Um, <laughs> I got my GPU back uh, in 2015, January 2015, so it's been a while. And uh, I will upgrade, uh, I'm planning on upgrade, I'm saving up. Uh, so. With a six-year-old GPU, 1066 gigabytes, um, I'm still okay. Yeah, I, the FPS can drop up to like uh, 50, 40, sometimes even down to 30 in very, very rare occasions. Um, if I don't, uh, if I don't cap the FPS, it reaches up to 120 FPS in some places. Uh, so obviously old generation consoles might have problem if if um, if it's dropping as much as you might see. Right now you can't see the drops as much as on a, on a maxed out build because I'm not having all the procs, I'm not having all the shock bolts. But if this build is maxed out, uh, it means we're going to be triggering a lot of lightning strike, a lot of shock bolts um, and a lot of other things would be happening on screen that do damage. Um, and that would result in performance drops. That's why uh, Electro for co for old generation consoles and people with um, older PCs. But it's amazing as a first starter relic to a new player uh, if you're playing on the new gen consoles or um, or on a decent PC uh, 
more recent better than mine although my pc is good enough i mean if someone has pc like mine um that's good enough for electrode i don't have like terrible SP fps drops it's playable But yeah, I switched on the performance so you can see how sometimes it might be um, not ideal. Right now you're not gonna see as much um, compared to, to a maxed out build though. Because first I'm not fighting uh, as big groups as I do when playing Ridiculous on a maxed out hero. Uh, and there's not just many things proking as I mentioned. No shock bolts. Because um, I'm not shocking them yet. They're level 12 here, I can just keep pushing. Circle says on Gen 1 Xbox One, what really could be better for uh, older systems? Well, uh, <laughs> Flaming Destroyer uh, is a little bit better for the performance, but if you build it around procs, which is the recommended way of building it, um, to, to, to get all the procs there, like Magma Burst, Firestorm, you're still gonna see some FPS drops. Um, Bot Drinker is okay, but it's not good for damage. It's good for survival. Be um, tough to do damage in the early levels uh, until you get some good gear. Uh, even in the high levels, unless you have good gear with Bot Drinker. The DPS will just not be uh, as amazing, but a good survivability and there's not gonna be that much performance drops. But people did tell me that regardless what relic you pick, the performance is just not great uh, on other generations. But it's worst with uh, with electrode uh, with good electrode builds synergized electrode builds. So whatever else you pick, I mean, flaming destroyer is the second uh, the, the second relic that's good for new players. Um, um, that gets good DPS. I can't tell you whether the performance would be that much uh, different than uh, electrode because if you build it well, you're still gonna be proking uh, a lot of things. And there's still gonna be a lot of things happening on the screen. Bane, if you're playing a train build, Bane is a good relic. Um, Bane train, very good, easy, lazy mode build to play. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's get the defense. Defense is a priority for me at the moment. This one's good. I'm probably gonna keep it. Cosmic Pants, early drop. Now I don't have to wait uh, for this one, I can use this one. It gives me crit chance and defense and it's pretty nice. Uh, what? Nani? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was uh, unexpected. So now I've got three pieces. Uh, bonus skill points, um, pretty good to have those. Mm, 
just so I don't miss I want to check here sometimes I miss it and then I realize at the end of the map that I need to go to the beginning sometimes they hide it here one of those pylons Extra oh, that reminds me, I should have an extra pet skill bar um, slot uh, unlocked at level 10 that I didn't um, take advantage of yes, yet. I'm gonna do it after this fight. Um, there we go. So I was talking about this pet slot. It's empty. Um, let's get the damage for now. Zoomies can come later when I have a Dryad neck band. Time to get rid of this. Is it just too much of a damage increase to to keep the on the wall level item? I'm gonna keep this for now. Beast, time to time to kill some bosses. It's one boss, but still. And I think that comes right on time. Right on time. newer level doom pipe although it doesn't really matter for most things unless it's damage relic energy cost yeah this is shittier i'd rather have more uh, shock bolts i'd rather have more energy cost the damage versus netherim is interesting and i'm probably gonna use it uh, against the boss at the end of the act against brow it's a lot of damage 187 damage versus netherim this is just too much. My damage right now is 40. This this item gives me... Oh, no, it's not 187. It's 18.7. It's still half of my damage almost. Like 40 something percent of my total damage. The current one. So it's still a lot. Um, and still gonna help. See, this one says Netherim Trow, but he's not considered Netherim. I think he's considered Goblin. Uh, I think damage versus netherim doesn't work on him. Haven't tested it, but maybe I should. Okay. 
But he does fire damage. This leads me to believe he might be a goblin. Unless he's some sort of special nethering. And he looks like he's the typical Varkenin, Varkenin brute um, enemy type. Okay, moving on. Um, a bit more left before brow. It's 11.13 p.m. So I do have some time until midnight to maybe finish this act. So tomorrow I can start from, from act two. Come on. Come on, goblin. Stop blinking. Walk me into the town, into the, into the next zone. I'm gonna go and get the waypoint first. Hidden Falls is here, where is the waypoint? Oh, it's there. Interval point. This has been quick. I've been uh, streaming for one hour and 42 minutes. Pretty quick, nice. Good work, <laughs> I guess abusing the system <laughs> does help uh, the leveling go a bit quicker. are inspired by my father's research on the Netherim. The energy shares properties with the Aether, which is supposedly where the Netherim come from. I guess that's no surprise for seeing these forces resurface. Uh, anything I might want to replace? I'm gonna keep this for the boss fight. Oh wait, 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 wait. This is relic energy cost. Not as much as mine, but more defense, so... I'm gonna consider using that. I'm gonna try again. Maybe I can get a blue one with relic energy cost. No. Oh, this is as, as good as it gets, this one. This one is only 8 more defense. The fire defense is good, but I'm not gonna need it soon. Let's go. <laughs> sky, sky stretching uh, while sleeping. Wait, what? How is this? H how did this happen? I teleported to the waypoint. It didn't put me at the waypoint. It put me at the beginning of the level. Like, for real, <laughs> that was the weirdest thing ever. Grounds are here. Uh, let's see. 
Wuka Jam Jan Pauletti says you struck my boy what's up I was wondering about rolling a Bane Realm Master but I have question how can you earn poison chance I mean um, it's worth to roll on a weapon uh, you can roll it on a shield or offhand um, on a weapon it's only worth it if you really can't uh, if you really can't get it on, a, on an offhand if you have like an offhand which just doesn't have sockets maybe but yeah if you want chance to poison get it from a shield or from a focus whatever you're uh, running if you're running a doom pipe uh, get it on the doom pipe if you're running a shotgun or shield get it on the shotgun or shield if you're running frost wall get it on the frost wall but uh, just to have the proc of spiders it's not worth it for spread of death it's worth it i mean the spiders are not bad but uh, i mean um, spread of death is amazing uh, it's not great uh, i mean um, it's good when there's a lot of enemies when you're just fighting a single enemy spread of death is not gonna give you uh, much of a much of a difference um, but when you're uh, mobbing when you're fighting a lot of enemies spread of death can help you clear amazingly quick like um, it can trigger some sort of a chain chain um, chain proc or whatever you want to call it um, by 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 killing enemies and since enemies uh, can explode uh, not explode but can can trigger uh, spread of death when they die uh, it's pretty decent uh, alternatively you can cause uh, poison you can you can apply poison with uh, with a venomous mole that's another way of applying poison venomous mole another way of applying poison is uh, flying picks uh, spirit bros flying picks with the with the unique item and uh, not unique uh, the legendary item the, the stinging wing this can also help you apply poison a stinging wing um, with flying picks So there are a few ways, but yeah, in general, I would suggest get it on, a, on, a, on an offhand. Regardless whether it's shoot or a focus item. Cosmic boots. Nice. Okay, that's good. Let's keep going. They're teleporting, perfect. Okay, this quest is done. Oh, um, we keep getting those legendaries. Cosmic pants again. Um, uh, tough choice, but I don't need the HP nor the ice damage nor the flying pigs damage. 
I'd rather have crit chance and defense. Okay, moving on. Shattered Void. Are we getting uh, on the final stretch of this act? See what comes next. Oh, it was this level, yeah, with just another minute. That beast escaped uh, right before it got uh, wrecked by the by the lightnings. gonna die from those stupid missiles as usual Not today. fuck how did it hit me fuck this is just ps Seraphine, uh, no, it wasn't Seraphine. Who was it? Um, um, Dunk, Dunk. Thank you very much for the for the YouTube sub. If you're watching, welcome to the Struck Club. Um, really, really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them regarding anything Torchlight related. Let's see now.
Oh, mace, nice. All right, uh, act one done. Act one done. Two hours, 10 minutes after I started streaming. Not bad, I, I think that's one of the quickest um, runs uh, of act one I've done. I'm saving points for flamethrower card though. Not gonna spend my points until level 20. What's happening? Okay, there we go. Great job, so we can start attack two. See how far we can go in it. And here we are, Mactar's Cove. I'm gonna probably sell some stuff. <laughs> no, this is better than mine. damage over time but at least at least it gives me a level to go strain which for now I'm using I'm not gonna end up using it with the final setup but for now it's there so I'm looking uh, to replace this and this take a chance spend some coin Okay, let's try again. Still giving me fire defense because I think I'm level 15 and I shouldn't be. Uh, I think I need to be level 16 to start getting poison defense from the vendor, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, let's do it, let's just uh, go start the quests. All right, first quest started. But yeah, um, normally I wouldn't be saving the points and I could respect, but since I need all, all the respectacles I can get later because I've got a lot of builds planned for this combo. I'm gonna make one build first, the train build. And eventually I will be revisiting this hero for a slammer build, for for all sorts of different builds, uh, taking different uh, things in the relic tree, different things in the quest tree. It's a very flexible relic. Um, every single skill I love of that relic. So first I, I want to find out whether Conjure Electrode uh, actually uh, makes my flamethrower car shoot quicker. So I can probably put one point in it for now, but uh, I'm not gonna rush into testing this. I can test this later. <laughs> That's heavy tunnels over there. No, there's 
Okay, there we go. I thought it was um, a dead end, but it isn't. to attack <laughs> pretty pretty decent This is nice. Okay, I'm not gonna use this here, although it was pretty decent. Let's go this way. <laughs> this walk by storm is <laughs> it's kind of silly um when you when you level it up early in the game and when you keep your gear up to date uh, for extra damage and wife bind it all right let's keep moving get uh, Sylvia Rouser. content 17 and i'm 16 close to 17 so i'm still not behind um, on the content which is nice Yeah. Did I get them all? 
And uh, Lin, um, Lindrak, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Struck Club. Um, enjoy your stay. And um, as I said earlier to another person, don't be afraid to ask some questions if something's not clear. Go strain damage. Um, mm. Or I keep the crit chance for now. I need to check my storage soon for um, some items uh, of level 20-ish of my of the set of the cosmic set. Let's get Bernie. And time to go to Mactar's Cove now. <laughs> Come on, vote. Let's talk to the seer, get the next quest. Oh, and I should have another pet uh, SWAT. Let's get zoomies this time. Back to where we were. Wait, what? Okay. For a moment, my skills disappeared here, and I was wondering what's happening. What was this quest? Was that the one with the giant spider? Oh yeah, with uh, that's that's exactly that quest. I should have uh, wa uh, not wasted this with it too early. liking your class selection so far ah I, I, <laughs> I always know uh, even before I start to build I know what's gonna happen so yeah I, I always liked uh, anything with electrode I've mentioned electrode is my favorite uh, subclass so on any hero on any class you take electrode would be a decent choice I'm definitely liking it. For leveling up on normal, it's pretty quick. I mean, I finished the first act in like 2 hours, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm all about um, finishing the leveling as quickly as possible. Because it's I've done it so many times, I can't enjoy uh, leveling new heroes in this game. Uh, in the current uh, way it is, after, the, after doing it so many times. But I definitely enjoy playing this. 
just can't wait for it to be max level and uh, for me to start uh, tinkering with some things build wise Raider says, do you select the same electrode skills on each primary class or do you change it up? I always change it up, uh, I mean with this guy I'm gonna make 3 or 4 builds. I'm first gonna make one build which would be a train build. Uh, then I'm gonna take a break from this class and uh, make some other builds and then I'm gonna return to it and make a slammer build uh, with chaotic mayhem. Uh, chaotic mayhem 2.0, it's on the agenda on my to-do list. And then I'm gonna start making new builds that um, that might be hybrid or we'll see. I might make a shield car build, off meta shield car build for people who want more defense. Who knows, um, I'm gonna be experimenting a lot. I wanna have a build with uh, chaotic strikes, a build with uh, conjure electrode and a build with, um, with um, localized storm. On that relic for this class. And um, after that, um, we'll see what else. One of those would have to be repeated with different class skills um, in the mix. some XP Wait, uh, don't tell me there's a book and I can't... Okay, I can't pass. <laughs> it is just... Uh, the environment should have become transparent at this point here. Okay, there we go. Next, uh, I think it's this way. to the faulted uh, food pad and from there I'm gonna teleport to McTarr's Cove 
progressing uh, nicely with the quests so far. <laughs> Definitely leveling pretty fast. <laughs> I've never leveled this this fast myself. I guess it's uh, because of the movement speed from Voco Ice Storm, um, and then having uh, having plane thrower car this early. It just helps a lot. For once, having it quick is not bad. Quest complete. Thank you again, adventurer. I hope I can return the favor one day. The Netherum. Come on, load up. I'm also thinking of maybe removing the doom pipe. But for now I don't need to remove it, which is nice. It works well. But wouldn't have minded removing the doom pipe and maybe putting um, something for mobility, like uh, using a centrifugal demolisher for extra charges. Sacrificing DPS for mobility to just run through the story quicker. Let's go get Sora. It's not here, I don't know what's missing. <laughs> waypoint. Not that I'm gonna need that waypoint, but rather get it now. Automaton. South flamethrower car. We could wood those gold piles to click on them or to break them, and they can turn into coins. By the time I reach Sora, maybe I will be 20. We'll see. Okay, 
dead end with XP. Such a such an MVP skill. <laughs> MVP skill for leveling up outs in Bu Relic. Uh, I'm gonna save in Bu Relic and uh, walk wise storm for the boss fight. Which means I need to go and get some energy. Get some more XP for for the time being. I'm not gonna waste my energy now. Well, for this one I could waste a little bit of energy. Why did I waste in the this early? Still at least it can recharge by the time it's time for Sora. And 20. Get that extra damage to conductor skills now. That's the next thing. Okay, let's uh, look at some things. This is gonna be spare in case I die. Energy cost, nice, finally. Oh, a new legendarium, new legendarium. I'm gonna test a uh, little general. Or maybe no, let's get frost wall. So far, so good. <laughs> nice. Come 
Come on. What's the hold up? Let's spin the wheel. Let's end the pet. Quest complete. It's kind of almost midnight. Maybe one more quest and then I can end it. Need to go and give Sky some food and some medicine and to cook myself some food. <laughs> midnight cooking time. <laughs> For time for dinner. We must stop this sadista. It's likely she's operating out of the hybrid capital that our way is blocked by a miasma. The spores. Okay, acrid plains. Since I'm here, might as well sell some stuff. Anytime. I even forgot to equip the extra netherim damage doom pipe <laughs> uh, before brow. Would have helped uh, if I remembered to do it. Well, some other time. Now let's see Acrid Plains. This is a very good density and XP zone. See, I'm just gonna do this one quest. If it's too quick, I can do the next one too, we'll see. Disappointing that was like five, six enemies in this mini dungeon. Oh, I don't have the train, I was wondering what's missing. Should I waste some of the relic energy cost and get more defense? Maybe not yet. Let's go get that quest then. Oh, Sky woke up. Hey, Sky.
which way I think it's this way, yeah. quest. This one was very quick. Mm, upgrade. Even though it doesn't give defense, more relic energy cost. my time <laughs> it just takes too long uh, to, to reach the boss from the place where it spawns you it's super badly designed to take this long we're just walking doing nothing and ruins. Let's get that next waypoint. Come on. So Freddy says, what uh, are those lightning strikes? This is from, um, from Wokowai Storm. From the level 1 electrode skill. The aura. Um, this kill. It's pretty decent. I need to talk to the opaca. There we go, it's here. Once I finish this quest chain, I will end the stream, but let's finish the quest chain, because we started it already. Mm. 
an extra 20% conductor skills damage. this way maybe oh no that's another dead end maybe this way I tried to move on time. I tried to move on time. Damn, 5000, that hurts. <laughs> okay, I need to change my weapon quickly. Sucks when when you get stuck <laughs> between monsters and environment and can't escape. Maker two, cosmic gauntlets, nice. It's nice, but no energy cost reduction, so still not gonna change. Oh, the pet is full. Okay, let's let's uh, let's uh, take the next checkpoint and uh, and end it. at the DPS boost I'm gonna get now. The DPS boost is real. Where is the portal? Here. Okay, let's see now. Is there a waypoint or something? Did I get the Acrid Plains waypoint? I think I got it, but I need to double check. So that next time I load up, I can port to it. It's taking a while. Let's spin the wheel. Hope it will faster. <laughs> Come on. So, do I have the waypoint here? Oh, I do. Okay. Then we can just go uh, to the city. Oh, that was nice. Um, I'm kind of at the at the forty percent mark, or maybe thirty percent mark of Act Two. I think it's around 40% of fact to finished for 2 hours 54 minutes uh, since starting uh, the stream. So not bad. Definitely the fastest I've, I've done the story so far. It could be in View Relic uh, that's helping me. Uh, maybe that's the, the MVP. 
saw a huge hybrid lumbering about. It's born, encrusted in the very same void ember. I'm gonna start getting this damage reduction shield for survivability. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it uh, for tonight. Thanks everyone for tuning in, for um, for watching on Twitch and YouTube. Um, until next time, keep it cool, struck up, and uh, goodbye.